I, I fucking went through and had a look at all the new mods that have been fucking released since July, and there are some sick ones that are out now, like, I mean, some incredible shit, like, uh, hang on, I'll just show you the list that I use, as you can probably see. I do play with a lot of these mods, but all the ones down here are all brand new. I had to take out all the Cthulhu mods. They're all fucked, apparently. Except, uh, the monsters. The monsters work. Cosmic Horrors is fine. Uh, but anyway, these are the new ones that I threw in. They've expanded all the van There's a guy who does these, uh, vanilla expansions, uh, called XND. And he, uh, has done, exp expanded for each biome all of the base creatures. There's gorillas in the game now, guys. We have a potential to get gorillas. Uh, he's also made some new factions, including a completely medieval faction. Because in the game, how it used to work when you scaled up was you started primitive and then you went straight to like laser guns and shit. And, uh, but, you know, via way of like World War II technology, I suppose. But there was no like medieval period. So now there's like a medieval faction with medieval tech that you can learn. Uh, new haircuts, new clothes. Diplomacy, so factions like get angry with each other, but there's like a bunch of other stuff just in here the zombie mods on that could get interesting who fucking knows Dinosaurs right at the top as well giddy up which means you can tame animals and then ride them around the map Thanks a lot Mike feed me for the 10 gifted subs um, So lots of cool stuff uh, So I'm just gonna throw it on and just see what fucking happens so it means we're gonna start a new col colony we will go classic which is crash landed for those that don't play this game uh, you've got different ways to start now. Um, it's been like that for a while, honestly. Uh, you can start as a tribe, which means you're all tribal people, so it's like primitive tech, but you get five of them. Uh, you can start as one guy with a ton of money, but that's not great until you get uh, traders and trading. You, uh, you can start this one where you're completely naked with no equipment and just like a little bit of food, I think. Naked Brutality, that's a good one. And you can do these, these are from the city mod where you crash into a city. Sometimes with people there, sometimes abandoned, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, lots of cool stuff, but we'll just start Classic. Uh, and then also as well, funnily enough, they've started adding um, story packs. Well, I say they, not Tyne and Sylvester, but modders. You can get very different story packs now. There's one that comes, uh, storytellers rather. There's one that comes with the med medieval guy. Maynard Medieval, and what he does is he stops the tech evolving past the medieval level, so you'll never get space pirates or aliens or any of that shit, which is really clever. But we don't do that. We do Randy Random in this house. Randy Random is the only guy worth doing if you start in a game. You can do this pussy shit with Phoebe Chillax or Cassandra Classic, where it ramps up the difficulty. You gotta go fucking raw. Randy random the funny thing is with Randy random is this doesn't make any difference like not in my experience anyway I've played it on savage Right, it, it, it just doesn't make any difference at all. Oh Here's a question coming in I try I played Kenshi actually I did play it um, and then I just I couldn't get into it I played a game where I just started out as like a fucking beggar or something uh, so kind of like real life, I guess and then I went to a village and some guy tried to kill me And then some guards came out and killed that guy and then I looted this guy's equipment But then the guards didn't like me looting a corpse So they beat me savagely till I had broken legs and I was just dragging myself around the desert sort of bleeding out and starving to death So I was like not not an auspicious start to the game like um, He's robbing a corpse stop him. So I was like fuck this yeah, I know, right? Full icon walled up on this motherfucker. Alright, where are we going? Let's have a look. These are ruined. These are ghost towns. The castles are the... So that's the medieval faction. So they've already got medieval tech. These guys have advanced tech. These are pirates. This looks like it could be interesting. You've got pirates. We've got a spare road here. A couple of settlements, including a fortress. Yeah, I think this is the one. Ancient Asphalt Road. I don't want to start there, I don't think. Savannah, though. Ch -ch -ch. Fucking. Right. Let's have a look what we got. I don't like to randomize too much, but if they're absolute garbage, it's got to happen. Oh, yeah, I got alien races on as well. So, like, you'll see these guys 
called Scale Man. So, uh, the green dudes are like lizard people. Won't do dumb labor. Anna's a psychopath. Oh, God, he's male. Shit, I didn't even realize. He looks like, uh, what's he called? The fucking, the painter. It looks like him, but he's an actual psychopath and neurotic and he hates women. I kind of feel like you have to leave him in. Yeah, Bob Ross, that's a motherfucker. Kind of feel like we've got to leave in evil Bob Ross. Like, I kind of feel can't actually. Yeah, he's got to stay. Danny, the shelter child. So what could go wrong with evil Bob Ross and a 15-year-old teenage girl? I want to get a combat, dude. Just someone. Oh, here we go. Eerie Diver Riggs, a crime boss's child, taught all the facets of the family business from smuggling to inventive ways of killing. When the family was attacked, her father ordered her to hide in a long, uh, in a secret long sleep crypt. And then, in adulthood, she became a mercenary leader. Pyromaniac and bloodlust won't do any cooking or any or even put out fires I can, I can live with that it went wrong last time okay oh yeah and we do get a pet as well I always forget about that Violet the Arctic Wolf that's good so let's have a look now this I fucking hate not knowing because that could just be our house and everything's great but if we walk in and it's like ancient evil we've just we just die immediately so i, I don't even know all right hang on let's fucking let's get tooled up evil bob ross can take a pistol give the 15 year old guy a uh, 15 year old girl a knife to protect herself from evil bob ross If it has a door, it's not evil. I know that's not true, though. It's definitely happened to me before. I've gone in and had, like, one of them fucking crypts. So it might not be ancient evil, but there was, like, some fucking aliens or something in this fucking... Oh, perfect. Oh, that, that could be ancient evil, though. Well, whatever. We've got we've got a gaff. Like, we, we're going to live alongside the ancient evil, if that's what it takes. What the fuck are these? What the fuck's a Deodon? I don't like the look of them fuckers. Oh, I haven't even checked out what wildlife is around, actually. What do we got? Emus. Classic boomalopes. A cassowary. Uh, yeah, there's no um, no dinosaurs, so we a fennec fox, a turkey. I turned the spiders mod off after what happened last time. We're never doing that again. After a giant spider bit a fucking colonist's head off for no reason, just open these things aren't fucking aggro. Well, well, we'll find out. All part of the fun, I suppose. Yeah, the soundtrack for this is wicked, dude. It's real good. Like, it catches that kind of futuristic and kind of uh, Wild West Frontier stuff, like, really well, I'd say. I once told a story on stream about playing bowls with my deaf mates. I was howling. Have I got any other great stories? I've got a fucking ton of great stories. Spent half my life drinking and being a fucking absolute mess. So, yeah, I've got... stories are the one thing I've got. But, yeah, that was a classic. That was, um... That was with my uh, team, Mass Psychosis. They were called. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a story that was fucking insane. We were. What the fuck have you been doing? Harvesting an acacia tree. Okay, good. Hurry up. Um, I'll t I'll tell you a story that was wild. I remember one time I used to play like five a side football in this uh, Welsh league, and it was in like a small town in Wales, and we used to have to go to the games. And just every week, they would just say, you'll be playing the following teams. You play about four teams a, a, a night, you know, and it would be like five-minute halves or whatever. And uh, we were all entered into a league. 
So we turned up and uh, we looked on the wall and we were playing a team called Hitler's Henchmen. <laughs> like, just Hitler's Henchmen. It was just there. Like, I can't remember. I can't even remember what our team was called. Our team just had like a fucking stupid name and we just turned up and we were just playing a team called Hitler's Henchmen, yeah. And they were just a bunch of aggro, right? They, they all came out. They fucking were just in like black and red tops like the SS. You know, obviously using that colours and they were just big aggro f fucking Welsh farm boys. It was, it was awful. Just kicking the fuck out of you. Hitler's fucking henchmen. Always remember that because I remember thinking to myself, Bit, un bit unreasonable as, as a name. But of course, what goes on in Wales is uh, kind of a law unto itself. Carrigan is legit leaving in the middle of a finals. What do you mean he's leaving? The fuck you talking about? What, is he just had, is he had to leave? Oh, I just got to catch a flight. It can't be a visa, like. It can't be. Mm. Oh, right, for his Russian visa, yeah. That might make sense. I imagine flying between US and Russia right now is fucking difficult, like. It is Russia it's in. I'm guessing. Wait, where did my music go? Did it just coincidentally stop? Or have I fucked the sound? <laughs> That's what happens if you insult the Russians. They turn your Rimwell music off. Straight interfered with my game. I was enjoying that. Oh, well, whatever. Yep, actually, good, well spotted. I, I wasn't even anticipating that. We got away. No ancient evil. So everything's looking up. This is a great start for us. But we've been here before. We've had those great starts. I seem to remember there was a great start involving some chickens last time. Before we knew where we were, everyone was dead. So yeah, no spiders in this one because they're too aggro, mate. They're imbalanced as fuck. I mean, like, I can put developer console on and spawn anything I want anyway. If the game's, like, going too well, I can drop a bunch of Velociraptors on the map and see what happens. You know, that's a good thing about RimWorld. If the game's, like, kind of plateauing out and you're kind of bored with it, you can throw your own shit in there. It's like, um, if you ever used to play SimCity, one of the great, one of the great things to do is you'd build these, like, utopian cities, and then you could drop a disaster on it to see how your infrastructure would sort of cope with it you could summon godzilla you know it was like it was pretty cool those were the fucking days man yeah exactly that was the best part it's like there's something very um soothingly uh childlike i think in all of that right i really want i you, someone has got to prioritize construct wait Oh, it's fucking cargo pods. Holy shit, I thought it was getting invaded. I was like, things are going really well. Pirates all up in this bitch. Let's get the... Let's see what we got. Right on top of us as well. What the fuck are these? EMP shotgun shells. All right, well. Look forward to deploying these as soon as I can get a shotgun. Uh, is it wrong every time I see Richard Lewis reports the RimWorld is the perfect category? Oh, no, it's, uh, it's, I'm telling you, it's like, it is one of my favorite games. I just, the reason I don't play more and stream more is, um, just time, you know? It's always time, my friend. We all, we, we oh, what, what the fuck? Evil Bob Ross and Diver are having a fucking punch up, like, the fuck's brought this on? It's fucking Bud. Because he hates women and he's a psychopath again. Bob Ross is fucking doing it. Look. Bud directly insulted Diver's hands. This drove Diver into a rage and she began a fight. I can't I, I can't even stop this, like. This this just has to play out. Diver's absolute. Wait, 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 wait. She's got a gun out. She's not gonna fucking cap him, is she? Nah, good. All right. Well, evil Bob Ross just got fucking smashed to pieces. Like, oh god, look at this. Bud smashed Diver with his head. <laughs> so he headbutted her. 
Diva used her teeth to bite him. Then then she tried to bite him again. Then headbutted him back in his pelvis. She headbutted him in the nuts. And then smashed him in the spine. And he fainted because he's got a crack in the spine. So. I think we've established dom dominance there. Let's have a look. Bruises. Cracked pelvis. Cracked tibia. Cracked spine. Nice. Pretty good. So he's just been fucking perma-crippled. Like right off the fucking bat. Not a problem. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll walk that off. He'll walk that off. That's not a big deal. <clears throat> Apparently, we got zombies coming in 22 hours as well. So, this is uh, it, it, that suspiciously good start is just over, I think. So, but that's what happens, you know. As I said, evil Bob Ross, there's a reason we're calling him evil Bob Ross. Remember, look, he's a misogynist, neurotic psychopath. I bet he supported Gamergate. What, what can you do? It was just inevitable that it would it would pan out this way. So, All right, we'll get that off. And she's even feeding him. Here you go, evil Bob Ross. And he's like a misogynist, so he's just like full exorcist. Like you fucking bitch! I'll show you. <clears throat> Wait, what's this? Automatically avoid zombies. This is new. I haven't even seen it. Before. Mind shattering pain. <laughs> That's fucking banging. Like, can't believe he insulted her hands of all things. Like, her hands, not her hands. Like, that's just unacceptable. Well, at least he hasn't kicked off on, um, on young Danny. So, it's fair enough. Like, Oh, I'll tell you as well, I had another game of this. I wish I'd streamed this one. I was playing it, and I got that thing um, where it's, uh, you get a toxic cloud on the planet, and it just slowly poisons everyone on it, and it lasted for months. It was unreal, and just everyone had, like, dementia and, um, like, kidney cancer and lung cancer and brain cancer. My entire, and I, had a, I, had a, I had, like, six colonists at that point, and they were all dying and demented. And it was just like, nobody could do anything. And they were all dying. It was just like, fucking hell. This game is fucking insane. Like, And of course, like, what would happen, you see, is I was trying to keep them indoors so they wouldn't get cancer again. But because of the dementia, they'd start wandering off and get lost. So they would just be out in this toxic cloud and they'd come back and they've got, like, another kind of cancer. Like, brilliant. I just couldn't even get, like... I, I, I couldn't even get like enough organs. I was like trying to find organ harvesters like kid. Oh, it's all right. I'll do transplant Just couldn't do it and then I like, say you can't do nothing about dementia, so It was tough times Yeah, I mean g2 have been given this fucking final like if you want to talk about some interesting shit, right? Um, I, I, I like keep in mind that right so what were the factors here? Mouse Sports were using a stand-in. Uh, OG were a brand new team. Uh, Fury were playing with their coach. Right? And now, obviously, Carrigan's had to leave. It's like... The, the real embarrassment at this tournament is MIBR finishing last. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, oh, and Virtus Pro. There you go. There's the other... Uh, there's the other um, factor. It's like, MIBR finished last at that tournament with all of that being true. <laughs> it's like, fuck, stop. Just stop it now. Like, Stop it. That is some fucking check-stealing-ass bullshit. Like, um, I, I think it was on an episode of By the Numbers um, where I was like, somebody asked the question, which team is... Um, the, the next most likely to become, like, the new Virtus Pro. And I was like, it's unquestionably MIBR. And uh, that's come to pass. That was a good prediction. That aged well. Uh, the, only, the only difference... What? That thing's gonna fuck up my base. 
What, the Thrumbo? Nah, Thrumbos are fine. They're passive, dude. Oh, look, we got a dinosaur now, too. A Utah Raptor. So we have got a dinosaur here. Yeah, the Thrumbos are fine, man. They're passive as fuck, like. They'll fuck up other wildlife. Wait. Oh, yeah, there you go. He can walk now. See, I, I knew it, man. He was actually crippled because of the spinal injury. <laughs> like, spinal injuries are no joke. Even in RimWorld. Now, Thrumbos are peaceful. They're, the reason they're worth, like, loads of money and you get, like, some crazy drops off them. And if you tame them, obviously, I've got the giddy up on. We could, I could, like, tame it and we could ride it. But if you fuck it up, they do just straight kill you, like. They absolutely wreck you. They're hard as fuck. They might look like some cute unicorn llama hybrid, but they are fucking nails. Can we get some fucking electric up in this bitch? Ah, oh, no, because your construction skill is too low. You will have to build wooden furniture. I knew I should have got someone with construction. It's just a giant fan, for fuck's sake. How hard is it? Um, do I, do I like the last episode of The Sopranos? I didn't at the time, but, uh, how do you end it? How do you end one of the greatest TV shows of all time? It turns out you can't do anything with it, right? Like, you just gotta fucking, you gotta do something bold. And they went for something that morons think is ambiguous. But I think most people that understand things like foreshadowing, uh, and understand that. Oh, it's the zombie attack. Okay, well, all right, let's name. So our faction should be called um, Buds Misogynists. Or maybe it could just be Women Are Bad. <laughs> no, I don't know. I can't even do that on Twitch, even though thematically my character is a misogynist. Um, like, I, I just, okay, yeah, there you go. Uh, Bud Bud's Squad W. There you go. Uh, and what are we going to call our fucking settlement? Um, <laughs> yeah, the thing is, no, we've got a pickle rich emo, Wookie. We've got a pickle rich emo in the Discord. Unfortunately, we actually have that. I'm drinking out of a jar, by the way. What a hipster cunt. Yeah, go on. We'll call it Brexit. 